Hey guys, Potato Smash back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you all the steps on how to get the hidden Corrupted Ash Bringer skin for Red Pallies. The first thing we're going to need is Nefarian's head. To get to Nefarian, you're going to have to go to the Burning Steps and enter Blackwing Lair. Now once you've entered Blackwing Lair, the only challenge you should have is the first boss, Razor Gore. If you've never done it before, don't kill Razor Gore. What you have to do is use this orb to control him. You will then use his Destroy Egg ability to try to break all of the eggs in the room. Be mindful that once you have control of Razor Gore, the enemies will actually attack him and try to kill him, and you don't want that to happen. After doing that, then you can kill Razor and proceed. Once you get to Nefarian and kill him, he will then drop his head. Make sure you do not complete the quest it gives. Next thing you're going to need are the Nat Pagel books. If you have some spare change, they'll be on the auction house. But here's how to get them without buying them. The first book you will need can be found in the Alterac Valley Battleground. What you need to do is loot dead enemy players which have a chance to drop it. It wasn't that hard to get for me as I got it in my first BG, but I might have just gotten lucky. The second book can be found in Dire Maul, located in Feralos and Kalimdor. I actually made a video on how to find this book, but here's a quick summary. This is one of the entrances to Dire Maul. The book is located on a dusty tome, which looks like a red book on the ground. I found the book next to King Gordok, but I have heard that the dusty tome spawn is a bit random, so you may have to look around other parts of Dire Maul to find it. For the next step, you will have to be at an artifact knowledge level of 6. You can check it in your artifact menu by hovering over your artifact level. The next thing you have to do is talk to Sister Elda in the Order Hall. If you're at artifact knowledge level 6, you will have a new dialogue option. Choosing this dialogue option will make her combine the books. Now we have to go back to Dire Maul. You will need to go to the west entrance of Dire Maul to get to the prince. Once you reach him, you will be giving him the book and Nefarian's head. Next, you will need to go to the Western Plague Lands in the Chillwind Camp and talk to Alexia Ironknife. Still in the Western Plague Lands, you will need to go north to Hearth Glen. In a building, you will find a journal you will have to read.
Now this is where things get tough. Still in the western Plaguelands, you will have to go near this river. You will likely find many paladins camping this spot where the Vile Slime spawns. The Vile Slime apparently has a 40 minute to 24 hour respawn timer, which is ridiculous. You should not wait for the slime to spawn as this will take a lot of time. Instead what you should do is get the server hop add-on. The link is in the description below. After downloading and opening the add-on, keep hitting the random button. The add-on will then put you in a random server. Keep doing this and eventually you should find a server with the slime on it. Trust me, this is much faster than waiting for the slime to spawn. Once you kill the slime, it will drop Timolane's phylactery. Then, use the item near the river. A lich will spawn that you have to talk to. Then you will have to fish in the river until you get the Shard of Darkness. The Shard is a very low drop chance, so once again, prepare to be here for a while. Also, I'm pretty sure that fishing skill does not affect your chances of getting the Shard. Finally, after getting the Shard of Darkness, you can go back to your order hall and talk to Lord Maxwell Tyrosis, who will give you a quest. Then go to the Flight Master and have them take you to Arcarus.
You can get three other colors for this skin, which you can unlock by doing things while you have the Hidden Artifact skin equipped. You can unlock the purple color by doing 100 dungeons, the best color, I mean the red one, by doing 200 world quests, and the yellow one by killing 1,000 enemy players in PvP. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more future WoW content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.